British economist David Ricardo said that nothing contributes so much to the prosperity and happiness of a country as high profits. And for nations to prosper and net high profits, he suggested trade must flourish. He presented his reasons, and one of them is the classical theory of comparative advantage. Let us talk about these two countries, for example, and how bananas and scooters are traded. In the Philippines, four bananas is equal to one scooter. This means if the Philippines decides to use its resources to make one scooter, it gives up the opportunity to make four bananas. You see, the value of the scooter is based on opportunity cost. This is the idea of comparative advantage. Now in Japan, when they make one scooter, they give up the chance to make two bananas. In terms of opportunity cost, scooters are cheaper in Japan than in the Philippines. The Philippines will realize that they will be better off trading. The Philippines will export three bananas for one Japanese scooter. Notice that this makes the scooter cheaper, being valued only at three bananas instead of four. Japan gets three bananas for one scooter. Again, because if they gave up the opportunity to make one scooter, they get only two bananas. David Ricardo states that both rich and poor nations can benefit by trading as they can acquire goods cheaper. This will also lead to specialization as Japan will put most of its resources to making scooters and the Philippines will concentrate on farming bananas. Both countries using their strengths to their economic advantage. 